saved, you repent, and you accept Jesus Christ as your Savior into your life. But, but, you get the idea that once you're saved, you're always saved. That you can't ever lose your salvation. You, you start to believe that lie, and then you go back into sin. Because well, once saved, always saved isn't true. It's it's just a lie. You can still end up going to hell even though you're a born again Christian, because you backslide in sin. Once you're, when when you get convicted of your sins, even if you're a born again Christian, you still need to repent. You still need to accept. You, you still need to repent of the sins in that, so you can be cleansed and not be dirty in sin. But it's not always that easy because the devil could be there trying. To make it about something that it's not even about. Now Jesus Christ, the God could be there convicting you of the sin that you need to repent of. But the devil will try to make it about something else. The devil could be there too. And for example, God's trying to convict you for lying. He's trying to get you to repent. But the devil is there masking it with thoughts and emotions that aren't even yours, that don't have anything to do with conviction. Like, the devil could say, well, society doesn't want you doing that. You're going to go to jail. You're, this is going to happen to you. Something like that. You can't be that way. You know, he's, he's, he's giving you a bunch of garbage because he doesn't want you to repent. Because even though you're a born again Christian, you can still lose your salvation. So the devil knows it. You give up your salvation when you when you fall back in sin, and you have to be cleansed from it. And of course, the devil doesn't like that. And the <clears throat> the only way is to to get rid of the devil or find out what the conviction is about is to rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus Christ rebuke him and his demons but if you're not a born again Christian and you feel the conviction you can't really do that you cannot rebuke the devil you just have to say the prayer and accept Jesus Christ as your savior you know God may be trying to convict you of all the sins that you've done so you can become born again Christian and be saved, but the devil is going to give you all these lies and all this garbage saying, well, you, well, you don't have to repent because you already repented. You're already a Christian. You already repented. You don't need to repent. Or you just do it later. Just It doesn't matter. Or, well, God's going to change he's going to change who you are you can't be who you are or, or, or just something like that feeding you lies to where you can't repent so you could be a born again Christian but you still have to keep repenting for the sins when you feel the conviction of, of God. But Satan, 
could also be there trying to keep you from knowing what it's about. So if you're a born again Christian, you can rebuke him if he says that, that Satan is there and then actually repent and find out what the conviction is that God is convicting you for in your sins. So don't just when you repent and become born again Christian don't just think well I'm always saved that I could go back to sinning and I'm still going to go to heaven because it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. That once saved, always saved thing is just a lie from Satan to get you to hell.